Boys are in, Cormac and Paul, how you doing? Doing well, mate. It's lucky okay. we're pros, isn't it? I know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear enough of me. Turn them all down. <laughs> What's it like when you're doing a sound check with the, the live band? I mean, because I've been in bands where it's just everybody wants to be the loudest and it's a nightmare. Mm. I'm turning up a bit. And then your man goes, well, I'm turning up a bit. It I'm it, turning up a bit. It is a much noisier And the singer can't affair. hear anything, you know? <laughs> but are you quite disciplined, you know? We are now, not not in the beginning, Johnny. As you no, can no, that's exactly. Especially uh, our drummer's so loud. Though. Yeah. Kind of puts the rest of us up, makes it hard for Cormac. That There's always one guy in the band who shall remain nameless, who <laughs> the, the sound man is constantly saying, ah, would you just turn down on stage a little bit there, please? Yeah, I know. You've got you to gotta let the sound man control it. Oh, that's bass yeah. guitar player for you. Well, yeah, well, um... <laughs> No, because uh, again, I've played in bands. Henry Clooney, if you're listening, nothing to do with you. Um, <laughs> and, you know, it gets to the stage where the PA guy says, that's too loud. And you're not even in the rig yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just from the on stage sound. Oh, you know? that, from, from the outside looking in as a lead singer, I can say that happens a lot whenever we're on tour. And then you're standing going, I can't hear anything. No, you can't hear yourself. Because if you're singing, you need to hear yourself. And all you can hear is chainsaws in the background. You know, yeah. that's, I know. I, yeah. I share your pain. For me. I do indeed. <laughs> it's not easy, sure. No, no. So listen, um, you're back. New album. It's released today. Yeah, today's the day. And it's a bit different. It is. So tell us about it. Was this a deliberate kind of shift? It was, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we, we, we're on our sixth record now. Made five. The difficult six album. The you difficult know? six album. Um, they're all they're all difficult. You know, they're all a challenge. But you know, we it was the tenth anniversary of our first album at the start of the summer there. Yeah. And we we kind of got to thinking that you know we can either make another rock and roll record or take a massive leap in the dark and experiment and have fun and get back to what it was like making that first album whenever we were just making music because it was it was brilliant yeah and it felt good we weren't being governed by any background noise whether that be record companies management fans even yeah know? and uh and that 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 freedom of expression was 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 very liberating and and as a result we've made an album that is is quite a departure from anything we've done in the past uh, but I think it's still familiar enough for your your own fans to you know embrace it you know, enthusiastically, but you 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 may find you're going to get other people who didn't listen to you before saying, "Whoa, it's a wee bit more to these guys now." You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, again, that was the mindset. It was the mindset was actually let's just just make an album for ourselves and not yeah. because every every time you make a record, you do kind of find yourself thinking, "Well, what what will our fans expect?" You do. And how do yeah. we not annoy our fan base? You know, and yeah. sometimes that that can that can be counterproductive. So we kind of threw all that to the side this time around. Yeah, um, it can be a gamble, of course. You're aware of that, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> might be, it might be shark sandwich. Uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I think six albums in now, though, Johnny. We gotta, you know, we gotta take our chances. Yeah, you gotta be brave in this industry, as you know. Well, exactly. Yeah, I mean, and again, you, you've devoted your life to it. You might as well spend time doing an album that you're really into yourself well know? the thing is you know if if we were to just keep doing what we've been doing for the last 10 years it would eventually the the, the passion would diminish and if you lose the passion you've you've lost your career in a band so it's absolutely essential you know i mean we're, we're in this for the long haul always have been and if we're going to keep making records for the next 10 20 years we need to keep things exciting. We need to open up our options in the studio as to as to where we go with our next album. And I think this album's completely done that. You know, it's it's exciting. We're, I'm I'm looking. We're all looking forward to the future, and we're excited about where this record might take us. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cormac, on a, a personal level, your your son was born premature, mm -hmm. and you had a well a, a harrowing time, let's say, because obviously there were health issues. You know how how. Uh, what was the wee man's weight when he was born? He was pound twelve. You're joking. Me. Um, my son was born at twenty-seven weeks. Whoa! We were actually Halloween brings it back because um, we were sitting in a restaurant uh, done up in in the various Halloween regalia two years ago, and and my wife's waters broke. Yeah. And we were looking at each other, going, "This shouldn't be happening." You know, it's only twenty-seven yeah. weeks, and and next thing we were rushed to hospital. And thus began a, a bit of an ordeal. You could you could say. Um, the the wee lad was in hospital for four months, first four months of his life. Yeah. Had to had to go to London for open heart surgery. Maybe six months after that, um, and he faced an awful lot of challenges, and and he was really fighting for his life for a long time, but. 
he's going to be two next Wednesday, and he's doing good. great. Good. And I, I, uh, I don't know how you even begin to deal with something like that. You yeah, know? yeah. It's um, it, 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 I mean, in the, at that time, it's hour by hour. You're not even day by day. You just you just do whatever it takes to get through whatever's best for the wee man and and best for for our our little family. You know, um, but. You know, when he came out of all that and, and we started to kind of reclaim our lives again, I suppose this this album came at the perfect time because I felt like I had a lot to say, a lot to get off my chest. And we've always, as a band, we've always used our records to as therapy, I suppose. Yeah. And uh, Well, did this experience, know. I mean, really, did it sort of, it brings home, you know, what the most important things in life are, basically. You know, everything else you used to worry about is trivial compared to it. Absolutely, you've got a total new perspective, and I, I tell you, you, you appreciate the, the 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 normality of life more. You know, you appreciate just being able to to wake up in the morning and be a family. Yeah, and uh, you know, to 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 just do normal stuff that you maybe would have taken for granted um, before, and that you know, this this record, I think it's important to stress that it's not all doom and gloom. You know, there are songs that, that are written from a dark place, but there's a lot of joy on there. No, it, it sounds quite spiritual and uplifting at, at places as well. You know, uh, it's not all, you know, as you say, you know, depression. No, no. It's, 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 it's made it, you sort of assess things, I would think. It has, it has, yeah. Yeah, but thankfully, um, you know, my family's in a good place. We're all in a good place as a band and, and, and things are looking up again. That's great. Good. So, um, uh, well, again, for you as a busy working band, uh, when did you feel oh, it's okay to go on tour again and all? You see, you must have been torn with that, were you? I well, uh, you know, again, in, in the midst of 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 all all the the stuff that was happening, I was I wasn't even thinking about the band. I wasn't thinking about life outside the Royal Hospital, to be honest. Yeah. Um, because I couldn't. It was just beyond that. It was just a, a haze. It was just fog. Um, but you know, whenever that, whenever, whenever that all clears, and you start to think a bit, a bit, a bit more clearly again, and and as I say, you start to just piece by piece put your life life back together. The band is 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 still a massive part of my life. It's part of who I am, and um, it's also you know it it's it's how I put food on on my 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 boy's plate. Yeah, so it's funny you've just said that. I'm looking down to remind myself of your surname because you've always been Cormac the answer to me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm serious, Cormac the answer. Yeah, I've been been thinking of changing it by (laughs) by default. You you know, know. (laughs) but it's just you say that's how much that you know the band is part of your life. You know. Yeah. So, Uh, Paul, ask you. I mean, is is there different instrumentation on the album, or is it going to require a bit of a tweak to play these songs live? Or it is, yeah. I th- one of the things we we tried to do is make it a bit more acoustic and a, a look at a bit of our sort of Celtic roots. So there's a little bit of mandolin, a bit of bazooki, uh, and I think the sort of the role of the guitar is much different. It's it's not the typical, you know, three four chords and yeah. guitar solo is turn the Marshalls up. It's uh, it's a lot more subtle. So yeah, yeah the, the live show it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit different, um, and it's. It's funny Cormac saying it's it's like the first album again because I remember he used to play a bit of acoustic guitar back then and he's doing that again yeah. to, to pull it off on this tour. So. Like to bag up again, yeah. Get, get, get <laughs> the, double the, wages, mate. <laughs> 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 to to, like, Looking forward to sign check again. <laughs> <laughs> Make me the loudest. They've had 10 years of it. <laughs> okay, listen, you're going to uh, sing a song for us? Yeah, yeah, we're going to play a song from the new record, obviously. Um, the track itself... It's called In This Land, and it's actually um, pretty fitting that we're, we're, we're sitting in a, a studio in the middle of Belfast because the song itself is about growing up in Northern Ireland. Good stuff. Well, you go up that microphone there, mate. Well done. Morrison got lucky Crazy joke and hold a crowd Hammering on the miracle John Gonna turn his life around Why should he apologize He left when I was young I'm told the past can hypnotize And maybe I'm the lucky one In this land we know we stand Heaven lies too close to hell In this land we know it makes no sense But in this land we're heroes Criminals and stars In this land we know that we belong Apart
That's brilliant, boys. Thank you. Well done. Uh, the album's called Solas. Yeah. It is indeed, yeah. And it's out today. And you download all that stuff, all the technical stuff. Download. Yes. We can even get a physical copy. CD, vinyl. Download yeah. it in iTunes. The whole works. Well, it's out in vinyl as well. Oh, wow. Oh, very good. Very good. Has to be okay. done. Okay. Yeah. Boys, thanks very much for coming in. Good luck with the album. Cheers, okay. Johnny. Thank thanks you. Now.